Hello fellow writers. In this first video about genetic research I want to test and find out the relation of damage between the bingos and the damage dealt by attacks. To conduct the experiment I'm using a level 75 Aptonith versus the Kezu you can find in the trail quest named the Pale Menaces. A high rank Kezu has a non-elemental defense of 215 points. Meanwhile my Aptonith has a non-elemental attack of 445. The test consists in testing the following attacks, normal attack flanking the monster, the same but winning a head-to-head, -head. Fen, a special attack, Venom, that does light non-elemental damage and also is of the power type both flankling or winning head-to-head. -head. Also I will test a double attack. A double attack is special in that your rider damage gets added to the head-to-head, -head, so to minimize my hunter's contribution I will perform it against the body that is resistant to my gunland's piercing damage. Finally, I will use a kinship attack. These attacks will be tested with different combinations of non-elemental and power genes percentages. I will have all the possible combinations of 150% and 140% and finally two with 100% elemental and 150% power and vice versa. The results of the experiment are annotated in the following table. There is some surprising stuff being the most important that the ratios between the multipliers and the actual damage multipliers does not match at all. There is actually a lot less damage lost by missing bingos than expected. The gap is especially big at the bottom rows where the expected damage should be a 66% of the full bingo but is about a 80% in reality, a lot more. I know that up to a certain point this is because the bingo doesn't multiply the full attack stat but only the base values. Losing a single bingo and going for either 150% power and 140% non-elemental means about a 5% less overall damage with two exceptions. It is interesting in that the damage for the normal and special attacks is the same for power or non-elemental at 140%. In the double attack there is a bigger attack percent of 97% this is because as said, half the damage belongs to your rider so the impact is a lot less. The tear breaker is the kinship attack. By looking at all the rows, the kinship is only ruled by the non-elemental modifier. It behaves the same way at 150% non-elemental with 100% power than with 150% power. The conclusion is that you must always prioritize having the higher possible value of the elemental part of the bingo than the attack part of the bingo because your kinship attacks. Then, even if the damage lost by missing bingos is a lot less than the game tells you, it is still a good chunk of damage downgrading to just 140% on both means a 9% of lost damage, so you should reduce the amount of lost bingos as much as possible and replace them for buffs like pump up to make for the lost passive damage. A weird but effective measure would be to build monsties with maxed elemental attacks but having mixed kinds of attack types. The idea would be to only pull that monstie when the enemy monster is targeting you. Then you can use a gunland's shell attack to max their kinship and unleash a full damage kinship the following turn. With different kinds of attack you may also force double attacks. Doing this, they will only attack with a bad modifier once. I'm very fond of that style where I use my monsties as kinship attackers since kinship attacks have native 100% chance to cause status down and also can negate the whole turn of your enemy. With Aptonic basically you can get 2 turns for every single turn of the enemy as long he targets you and you win your hands to hand. This is all for today, I hope this information was useful to you. I will be further researching how genes can affect your performance. If you have any suggestions or ideas, let me know. See you in the hunt.